This video is for all of you out there who want to overthrow the US government and who think that the best way to go about this would be to launch an attack on buildings, infrastructure, or by targeted assassinations. In particular, I wanna address people who think that the time for these kinds of activities is right now. I know for a fact that these people are indeed out there because I've seen many of them making comments and posting videos along these lines. The intention of this video is to illustrate why this is a bad idea and to propose an alternate path. First of all, I know how you guys feel. You see your government taking away your rights one at a time, you see the jaws of the police state closing down around you, and you see them using your hard-earned tax dollars to line the pockets of the wealthiest scumbags on the planet. It enrages you. The line isn't about to be crossed, it was crossed a long time ago. And I understand where you're coming from when you say things like, we can't wait for them to come smashing down our doors and dragging us off in the night. We have to do something, we have to do something now. You feel a sense of urgency. And that sense of urgency is valid. You're tired of talk, you want action. Is this close to being an accurate assessment of what you're feeling? If so, hold that thought. Revolutions are usually driven by a small portion of the population, but they're only successful if the current of public opinion is with them. You can't win by having a handful of lone wolves launch an attack by themselves while the majority of the population is still not on the same page. And let's be very honest here, even in this audience, which is far from being a cross-section of the entire population, you guys aren't all on the same page yet. How on earth could you expect to launch a revolution and have the public join you when you can't even agree on what the revolution would be working towards? Just being mad at the government is not a substitute for vision. Hating the direction that we're headed as a society doesn't qualify as a plan. And a general feeling of discontent is not a replacement for unity. Imagine you were to get your way and a revolution were to start right now, and by some stroke of luck, it succeeded. What would you replace the current system with? Write your answer in the comments. See if you're in agreement with everyone else here. If you aren't in agreement as to what you're going to replace the current system with, then your revolution isn't going to end once you take out the government. In fact, it would just be getting started. Ideological confusion combined with violence is a recipe for disaster. A lot of people like to compare this upcoming revolution with the first American Revolution. But this is nonsense. The first American Revolution was ideologically driven. Those who started it knew what they wanted and they were very close to being on the same page close enough that they were able to sit down, write a constitution, and set up a system of governance after the British were expelled. Modern day Americans not only aren't on the same page, most of them aren't even reading the same book. This is not a minor detail. Getting people on the same page is not optional. You can't skip this step, period. In order to launch a successful revolution, you must have a clear vision of what you're working towards, and you need to all be within a reasonable range of agreement as to how that's gonna happen. Right now, there's an awakening taking place that's unprecedented in human history. People are starting to see things and question the system like never before. And if we're able to keep this situation from spinning out into violence too soon, then we're gonna win this. In this regard, time is on our side if we're proactively working to wake people up. And that's why it's looking more and more like the powers that be are going to try to cut our time short. Let's be absolutely clear here. Nothing would help the US government more than having some two-bit yahoos launch a violent attack on the government prematurely. They've been preparing for this scenario. They've got the laws in place to make people disappear. They've been ordering billions of rounds of hollow point bullets and buckshot. And they've been running multiple military drills in US cities. Some of these drills literally involve Department of Homeland Security conditioning its officers to fire on civilians. I'm not telling you this to scare you. I'm telling you this so you'll be realistic. They are fully prepared for a civil war. And by all appearances, they actually seem to want it. That would give them the perfect excuse to clamp down. It would give them the perfect justification to start making activists disappear. They would label you as domestic terrorist, and then the full weight of the NDAA and the Patriot Act would come down on you. And you know what's worse? The public would support them. Public opinion would swing in favor of the government even when they're doing this kind of stuff because they would perceive you to be dangerous, unhinged wingnuts. Because that's how the mainstream media would sell it. If you can't see that that's the way it would turn out, then you're ignoring history. Listen, if you're in a hurry to see things change, then get involved in the ideological revolution that's taking place right now. Figure out what page you're on, figure out where other people are coming from around you, and start working to build unity. We have to have a common denominator. We have to have a unifying idea that we can all agree on. Many of us, myself included, believe that this common denominator is the non-aggression principle. The simple concept that the initiation of violence to get someone else to do your bidding is unacceptable. It sounds simple, but the implications are devastating to most political philosophies. And because of this, we have our work cut out for us even if we're just trying to get activists to commit to it. At the same time as we're working to build ideological common ground, people need to start opening up communications with police and military. Talk to them, get to know them, build relationships with them. Expose them little bit by little bit to this kind of information. Be diplomatic and start where they are. Use the constitution as your point of reference. 
and keep it simple, just stick to the Bill of Rights in the beginning. Then introduce them to the concept of the Oath Keepers and encourage them to get involved. Yeah, I know, it sounds less heroic and exciting than what you see in the movies, but this is how real revolutions unfold. Ideas first, then non-compliance, then if all else fails, you may have to use violence. If you try to skip any of these steps, you will fail. Resistance has to build organically. The crowd has its own pace, it has its own current and momentum. You can't force it to go the speed that you want it to go. When the people are ready to pick up arms and take down the government, you won't need to convince them. You won't need to tell them to do it. It will be obvious. The rage will be palpable and the event that'll set off the actual revolt will probably happen on its own. When that moment does come, you're not gonna be able to control what comes next. And you're not gonna be able to put the genie back in the bottle. At that point, it'll be too late to get people on the same page ideologically. And most likely, these keyboard commandos who think that they want a revolution are gonna be crying themselves to sleep in the corner of some bombed out ruin in suburbia. The moral of the story here, Stay calm, work to wake people up, and put these idiots who are trying to convince people to launch violent attacks in their place. A violent revolution, if it does come, will be a nightmare. Don't make the mistake of making that nightmare worse by starting it early. If you believe that this is an important message for people to hear, then please share it. Post it to your Facebook, to your Twitter, post it in forums, post it on your website, send an email to your friends. And if you see somebody calling for violence in a public forum, then post this video as a response. If you want more content like this, then please subscribe to this channel, Storm Clouds Gathering, on YouTube. And for bonus content, be sure to like the Storm Clouds Gathering Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, and our website, stormcloudsgathering.com. Also remember, Wednesday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern, we have a live roundtable discussion, so if you want to talk about something, give us a call. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and until next time, remember, the truth is extreme. To make it moderate is to lie.